try and warm things up again. Uh, <laughs> Nigel Farage, you have talked about a moneyed elite betraying the will of the people. Are you talking about Gina here? Miller? Oh, very much so, yeah. Although, don't forget, I've been in the European Parliament for years, so I've seen this happen all over Europe. I've seen the Danes forced to vote again, the Irish forced to vote again, the Dutch and French ignored. There is a, there is a political and wealthy ruling elite who are not prepared to accept the democratic result of referendums. You've been an insurgent all your political life. Do you not at least admire Gina Miller here for using her own money to change things? I mean, she, you know, nobody else had to, nobody asked her to do this. She used her own money. She went to the House of Lords, uh, she went to the courts, and she has now changed our entire political structure. Well, Parliament has to have a vote, um, and she's done what she believes in. I, of course, support people doing what they believe in. However, I just want to ask her, what part of the word leave don't you understand? I, this case, have you read the case? Yes, and you're arguing yes. that Parliament should have a say, but do you want us ultimately, okay, you accept we're leaving the European Union, do you want us to stay part of the single market? That is not, I'm not the politician. Mm. I'm not the politician here. <laughs>I'm the person who saw the elephant in the room, which was there is no legal certainty. You should actually be my biggest fan because I've just created the legal um, certainty so that M Theresa May can now, rather than appealing, go ahead, have the debate and leave, not interrupt her timetable. So actually, there is legal certainty. But what you've done is you've given all those in Parliament who argue that the referendum does not mean we should leave the single market, you've given them the chance, effectively, to overturn the Prime Minister's wish and to mandate her. And if that happens, you would have stirred up, I think, the biggest political upset we've ever seen. So should we sack all the MPs and they go home? Because what, what we have what? a representative democracy at the moment, which means that they have to go in there and debate. That's what Parliament was. That's what you argued for the whole no, way through, I've argued which is parliamentary sovereignty. sovereignty. No, no, exactly. No, no. I don't no, no. This is not about whether Parliament's sovereign, it's about whether the British people are sovereign. That's the real we argument. Are not here.